let's combine these pieces of information to figure out that a naught is just minus 2700 times 900. So therefore, a naught or acceleration when time is zero is negative uh, 243,243. 000, 000, so, 243 times 10 to the fifth. Is that right? Two to the sixth, because we have four, four zeros. So, 2.43 times 10 to the sixth. And unit here is meters per second squared. How do we know this? Well, good question. Um, right here, when we did this equation here, we can look at the units. And on this side here, we have um, zero meters per second because it's um, it's um, the velocity. And then here we have 900 meters per second. And here we have K times meters. Right? So this means that if I'm looking from a unit standpoint, what I'm doing there is K equals meters per second divided by meters. And therefore, K equals 1 over seconds. If K equals 1 over seconds, when I come here, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying meters per second times 1 over seconds. So this is meters per second squared. Okay, and that's how I know the unit. Okay, you could have guessed this, but it's always best to be uh, sure and check it for yourself. Beautiful. So that does it for the first part of the problem, which was asking us at, it is at um, time equals 0, what is the acceleration? Well, the acceleration equals minus 2. 4, 3 times 10 to the 6th meters per second squared. Next question. What is um, the time when the position is 0.325? And note that we have now, there's two ways to do it. I think, let me think about the easiest way. We have a relationship between the velocity, we have a relationship here between the velocity, okay, so I think the easiest way to do this, the easiest way that I think uh, would come from, we can come from this reali realization here, right? I'm going to copy this guy here. What we're saying there is that the rate at which the velocity is changing over time is minus k velocity, right? So if that's the case, what I can do is say, okay, so therefore, the rate at which dv, dv divided by minus kv equals dt, right? And if I now integrate on both sides, and I want to go specifically from 900 or v naught all the way to velocity, and here I want to go from 0 to t. This is what I'm looking for. This will render, this integration will want to be minus 1 over k, the integral of v naught v dv over v, which is natural log of v. And here I'm just going to have t, right? So therefore, 1 minus k of the natural log of v over v naught will be equal to t. Okay? We know this is 900. We know this is 2700. We're looking for this, but we don't know this. What is that? That's the velocity at um, the velocity when the position is 0.325. But we've always known a relationship between the position and the velocity, right? This is it. So therefore, if I want to know what is the velocity, and that, so it's going to be 900 minus the 2700 times the 0.325. 
right? And again, we know this is uh, one over seconds. Um, then we know this is meters, so it's going to be meters per second. Oh, good. And the velocity turns out to be 22.5. So if this piece of information, this becomes trivial, right? What is the time? Well, the time is going to be minus 1 over 2700. Natural log of 22.5 divided by 900. Remember, oh, let's just put the number here. This is going to, this is going to output a negative number. So negative times negative is going to give me a positive number, which is great. Um, unit wise, there's no unit coming out of this. The units cancel out here. But this was 1 over seconds, right? So if this is 1 over seconds and it's dividing, then it becomes seconds. So that's also great. And I get 0 0.00136625 and it keeps going. So I'm going to multiply that by 1,000 to get it in micro uh, in milliseconds and I get 1.37 milliseconds. Okay, or point. Uh, 0, 0, 0013 um, seconds. All right? This is an approximation. And this is the time when um, the position is 0.325. Brilliant. What would be the other way of doing this? Well, the other way of doing it is you can go ahead and integrate the equation um, by doing, uh, keeping it, as is, and then doing the dx and the naught. So you can have x in the integration when you do it over here, so you have, have an extra component to this. So you're going to have both the dx from, basically what we do, what you do is you integrate from dv, uh, sorry, from v, you transform that into dx dt, and you integrate from there. That's the other option. I think this one is the easiest, easier integration and all that. Anyway, uh, I hope this was useful. As per usual, if you have any comments, just leave them down below in the comment section. Um, if this video was useful, consider giving it a like, and we'll talk soon.